compared to a UC, we have smaller class sizes, we have a lot of hands-on, and the difference is, is that our faculty are teaching those classes. We don't have grad students teaching you. We really focus in on water and labor. So structures, mechanics, mechatronics, which is a combination of robotics and mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering. So our students can get PE licenses in all three of those. We have that equipment for them to use, and they get experience out in the field with it. Our department is small enough to where um, you get a lot of, like you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the instructors. We don't have huge labs. Our department's relatively small. Also, we have like the most shop space um, per student than any other department. So being kind of small, we have a lot of space. So we can work on big projects and real full-size equipment and build full-size projects in the shops that we have and uh, get experience with the real deal, right? Not a simulation or anything like that. We're, we're playing with real equipment. The Bray Department is the one place where you're going to be able to be an engineer as well as a specialist in some sort of biology. One of my major areas is always looking at waste streams and ways that I can recover them into things. So that we're kind of taking a waste streaming and turning it into kind of a production system. And the students are always really excited when we do projects like this. I think they're always really interested in ways to make things more sustainable, looking at efficiency as well as ways to take, you know, food waste or animal waste and produce things like natural gas or things like that. Oh yeah, we have a lot of learn by doing experiences here. I try to integrate uh, some of my aquaculture background in with um, uh, a lot of the coursework. Uh, so we utilize uh, uh, bacteria to, for nitrification purposes to remove ammonia from the water to keep the fish alive. We show how uh, you can create an environment to put a lot of animals in a small area and try to just increase the density and uh, again reduce the footprint that you're using for your agriculture and uh, also just uh, nutrient balances and mass balances, but I really try to work with students on how to merge biology with engineering. Say, wastewater treatment, how to utilize microbes for uh, doing jobs for us that, that we need help doing, like cleaning our water. Right now the seniors are taking their concrete class, grade 433, so they're, they're getting ready to uh, build something out of concrete. This year they're building the concrete slab, so it's a real hands-on, get dirty, you know, build, build the forms, tie the rebar, uh, all of that stuff. I've had a lot of learn by doing experiences since my freshman year at Cal Poly. Um, I would say that my like favorite freshman year memory was building a hydroponic vegetable garden with uh, Professor Schwartz. Um, and that was honestly one of the reasons why I wanted to continue in this program. So we do a lot of drafting and stuff, but then we also, since we're agriculture, we do a lot of stuff outside. We take a lot of irrigation classes, and then we have the ITRC, Irrigation Training and Research Center, that we get a lot of irrigation practice. There's the IPF and WRF over here at Cal Poly 2 that have plenty of projects on them, and we all get to go out there, test out different canals, different flow rates on the canals, just all different kinds of stuff, irrigation-based to get us worth knowledgeable on that stuff.